All right, and thanks for joining me again. Uh, you probably see I have uh, updated the background. I am still waiting on a PC and some other ideas in the working to make my videos a little bit better. I'm trying to improve as I go, but I don't want to be silent for that long. And I feel like doing a little bit of work today. So this is a dwarf African strangler ficus. It is another ficus tree, but it's a little bit different than uh, what I have been working on so far. The uh, first video I did that I did for the wedding gift, that was a type of a ficus benjamin. Everything else has been uh, types of ficus microcarpa. But uh, this is a dwarf uh, African strangler. I do believe the scientific term for it is uh, ficus Natalensis, if anybody knows any better, you can let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear some comments. But uh, I'm gonna dive in here and clean it up a little bit today. From the uh, old pictures that I'm showing on the side, you can probably see that this is on a rock. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this any anytime soon. I mean, it's, well, I don't know how I'm ever gonna get it in anything, kind of a decorative pot or anything is what I mean. But it's really big. The rock is almost the size of the pot. Uh, it's probably taken up of like 60% of the pond. Have to add, have a really big rectangular pot of some sort. Uh, the last couple pictures that should be coming up now are when I trimmed it, I actually, uh, the two winters ago, it really did really well and grew a lot over the winter. And so it was really thick. It was around, uh, it was around Thanksgiving this year and I cut it way back with the idea that it would continue to grow all winter. And uh, I thought for a minute it was gonna die. You can see all kinds of dead branches sticking up here. See all kinds of uh, spots that have kind of died back a little bit. I got worried about it, so I left it alone. And of course, now you can see this spring it looks really healthy again. Uh, I'm probably gonna time-lapse this guy again. Maybe try to Put another TikTok up. I think uh, I actually find those kind of videos relaxing. I've been watching a lot of them myself, just people working on trees and the time lapse of it and everything. So probably not going to say much as I go, but uh, I am going to take off all the leaves. Some of these branches are really, really busy in here. I don't know if you can see how, just how busy they get. Try to leave some of the length on, probably leave something to wire. I do notice on this one every time, sometimes when I, when I prune these, it gets all this fica sap everywhere and I don't really like wiring it around the fica sap so I'll wait a few days to come back and try to wire it. And then all the branches have lignified. They all get like really, really stiff after the pruning. So if I do do any wiring or if I want to do any wiring, I am going to try to do that today, but I'm going to fully defoliate it and prune it up quite a bit to see what we got in here. Hopefully it's looking good again. I'll clean out some of those dead branches and stuff. Well, that was a lot of work. I think this thing looks pretty good though. I don't think I'm gonna put any wire on today. There's a couple branches that are kind of screaming for some wire. Still, still quite a bit of movement in there even without any wire. I've never had any wire on this, just a little bit of, I had, I've had some guy wires on it, kind of keeping some of these pieces from growing straight up. But uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's a couple of these. Uh, I'm just kind of a little worried about the health of the tree. There's some spots of the stump there that I don't know. You guys, maybe I'll try to move this in a little bit closer there, but some parts of the stump there that look kind of dead-ish. Have this big, kind of a weird-looking growth coming out of close to that spot, but it almost looks like they kind of responded to the the, the dead spot there or whatever. <coughs> A couple of these I think I can do without. This one here is kind of crossing in front of the trunk. This one is growing straight up. But I think I'm just going to let it get healthy again. And leave it alone for a bit. Maybe put some wire on it later this summer. This is a pretty cool looking tree. I think uh, this time next year... I'm gonna take it up out of here and see what it looks like on that rock. If it doesn't look good on the rock, I actually think that this thing really should be healthy by then. I'm not gonna, I'm certainly not gonna try to prune it again and as it's heading into winter, but uh, as long as I have it super healthy again by, by this time next year, I'll get it either out of there and either repot it at a different angle, probably in this pot with the rock, tilt it up a little bit so you can see the rock a little bit more or whatever. But uh, I don't think I have this at a very good angle on the rock. So I might plan on pulling up out of there. And if it is healthy, it should be able to take some really good root pruning. And get that in a nice little rectangular pot of some sort. It might look actually really nice. A little bit better than it does with the rock. I think the rock was a bad idea on this guy. But... Anyhow, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I'll try to improve. Especially if you subscribe, you'll come back and see some improved videos and everything. Get my PC in, and I might even have some help editing here soon. Well, we'll see what happens. Again, thanks for watching.